I'm here to talk about Lars Sullivan. Guys, he's lurking. Have you seen the last two nights? Have you seen Raw? Have you seen SmackDown? It's pretty obvious that he is lurking. We're a couple days away from TLC. And I'm going to tell you right here in this video what I expect to happen with Lars Sullivan's debut. So before I get into that, please press that like button on this video if, if you enjoy this content. If you've never been here before, my name is Jay Aletto. That's A-L-L-E-T-T-O. And um, I'm here for your entertainment value. I am the owner of PWPNation.com. You might have seen our Twitter, Twitter account, excuse me, at PWPNation. Check us out all over social media, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere there's social media, PWP Nation exists. I'm also on Twitch at Jay Aletto, on Instagram at Jay Aletto, Facebook, all over the internet at Jay Aletto. Guys, Lars Sullivan, rumored to be named the Rocky Mountain Monster upon his arrival in WWE. How will he debut? What kind of impact will he make? I have a couple of theories up my sleeve, um, and I'd like to hear what your theories are, so please leave a comment below if you have anything with that being said, I'm going to get into mine. Theory number one. If Lars Sullivan's going to be on the Raw brand, I personally believe that he will interfere in the Baron Corbin, Braun Strowman, TLC match and screw over Braun Strowman. Here's why. Baron Corbin is probably, I think many people would consider him one of the worst GMs in WWE history. He's weird. It's different. He's a pro wrestler. He's not a general manager. This guy was kind of put in this position as the constable, and it's kind of spiraled into this temporary GM role, which is very strange. I don't know what you guys feel about it, but I'm not feeling it. And I think the ratings are telling us a thing or two, because Raw, this past Monday, had his lowest rating again. Of all time, second week in a row. It keeps topping it, and it's probably going to keep going downhill with the holiday season in full effect. So here's the deal, man. I think that Baron Corbin, the one thing that he does well is he's a heat seeker. And if Braun Strowman can go this Sunday, and I think somehow, some way, he's going to end up showing up. I do. I don't know if he's going to be cleared to compete necessarily, but I think he's going to show up probably with a gigantic cast or something around that arm. This is a TLC match between the two. Now, listen, Lars Sullivan, to make an impact, all he has to do is attack a big name star. And if WWE wants a, an immediate Main event push for Lars Sullivan, have him attack Braun Strowman. Have him attack Braun Strowman, put him through a table, something along those lines. It could be simple, it could be safe, but it could be also absolutely brutal and make a big impact for his debut. So that's my first theory. Second theory is, we do have a title match on SmackDown Live. That is Daniel Bryan defending the WWE Championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles. All right? Now, guys, whether you like this Daniel Bryan heel turn or not, I personally love it. I think a lot of people do. I've been watching the internet very closely, watching Twitter. A lot of people are really believing that Daniel Bryan has hit his stride and will continue to as this new heel character where he's kind of like a vegan, social justice warrior type of thing. It's the type of guy that pushes his beliefs on you that many people don't really like. Well, what would be better than if he had a big monster standing behind him while he cuts these promos. Now listen, Daniel Bryan has been cheating his way to victory. He's been taking the easy way out against AJ Styles. He's going to continue to do this into the future to gain wins over different superstars. I'm positive of it. That's the way that he's going to solidify himself as a heel. I don't see him dropping the title back to AJ Styles. I think we could all say that. And to keep AJ Styles strong, have Lars Sullivan attack AJ referees down, whatever the case may be, Lars Sullivan comes out of presence nowhere. felt and ends up destroying AJ Styles, enabling Daniel Bryan to continue his run as WWE champion. Lars Sullivan is a unique talent. The guy is monstrous. He has a unique look. He looks different. He's the guy Vince McMahon loves. Vince loves these type of guys. We all know this. We're not stupid. We know he's going to be put into a situation to succeed right off the get-go. Or, and this is a third bonus theory, Lars Sullivan could just be coming in to squash guys for the first month. He could come in and just destroy everything in his path, jobber after jobber after jobber, something like Ryback used to do. I don't prefer that, guys. I think he should make a splash right off the get-go. Put him in there with the big name stars. Put him in there with the guys that could make him 
you want another main event type player. I'm not sure it's going to be him in the long run, but might as well try it. What else do you have going for you? Out of my two scenarios, attacking Braun Strowman or attacking AJ Styles. I think personally, I prefer him attacking AJ Styles. Backing up Daniel Bryan would be beautiful and something completely different. Daniel Bryan can get this guy over. Plus, Raw already has a monster in Braun Strowman. Both scenarios are completely logical, and I think either one would be great for his career. Again, I prefer the Daniel Bryan route. If you guys like this video, or if you have any comments about this opinion of mine, please let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button once again. We're trying to build this YouTube page, guys. I've been out here grinding, hustling the last few weeks, trying to get people aware of this YouTube page. So if you can, please do what you can to help us out. Share, like, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at PWP Nation and myself at Jay Aletto, all over social media, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.